so I filmed like maybe 12 minutes of a video. <laughs> Turns out I didn't press record, so here we go again. Yay. Hey guys, Chantal here. Yay. Otherwise known as Shanti Asian. If you've never seen me before, it's nice to meet you. Thanks for clicking on my video. Stay hydrated, ladies. Stay hydrated. It was supposed to be a tea time, tea talk time with Shanti Asian. A tea time with why don't we? Do you know why don't we? We'll get to that later. But yeah, I wanted to have a tea time video, tea talk, whatever. I finished my tea with the first time I filmed. So that's gone. I'm just going to have some water. Great. The other videos that I've been filming where I am sitting, they're more fun content. But this time I just wanted to like chat with you because I feel like you're my friend. Camera, Nikon camera over there. Oh yeah, just like a quick side note. I tend to babble. I'm sorry, okay, that's just me. Where should we start? Okay, well, basically I've been gone from YouTube, not really as active. I know some YouTubers are like, Ugh. You know, I wasn't active, but I don't know, there's no excuse. There is an excuse. If you are sure that YouTube can be your career, you need a degree or something to fall back on. And for me, it's my degree. Because there's nothing else that I'm good at. So, I was busy with tests. Okay, studying great. Today, I went for an audition for something. I had like a little script part. It was fun. It's kind of scary. So I had that this morning. Then straight after that, I had to go to a lecture. So I drove from one side of Joburg to the other side just to sit in a lecture, one lecture, for 20 minutes. Waste my time, 2017. Now I'm here filming a video. Yay, yay, I miss this, I really do. Let me tell you about this disaster. Oh my goodness. So, Facebook does not want me to have Facebook. Yes, okay, so let's get into this whole situation. How irritating it is. So I've been uploading my covers on my personal Facebook profile instead of my YouTube page on Facebook. Which I understand is probably like a really big mistake, but you know what? I thought I was going to get a chance to fix my problems and my mistakes, but no! So I received an email from Facebook saying that one of my covers... Which was Mad by Nail. Go check it out if you haven't seen it. ...was copyright infringement and that they had to disable the content and you know I was fine with that I was like okay sure disable the content I don't mind if people can't see it just as long as it's on my YouTube channel so this email I received like 2 3 a.m. and that day I only read that email like in the afternoon when I tried to go onto my Facebook in the morning when I woke up and saw that I was disabled I was like what the heck so when I was going through my emails to see if Facebook somehow let me know about something I just saw that they warned me warned me about that one piece of content I was so confused I was like you said you disabled the content but you disabled my entire account and I didn't understand really fully what it meant to have an to have a disabled Facebook profile so I had to go Google and I was like trying to find solutions because I I can't handle not having Facebook that's like the only way I can connect with family and friends and people can find me if they don't want to find me on Instagram maybe they don't have Instagram turns out that your Facebook profile can get disabled if you are violating any of Facebook's rules and regulations terms and conditions all that kind of stuff and repeat violators usually get their accounts disabled Number one, I was confused because I was like, I got one warning, one warning about copyright. I didn't constantly do it, I didn't get multiple emails, I got one. Number two, I didn't post anything else, I wasn't cyberbullying anyone, I wasn't posting any porns on Facebook. That's for Tumblr. I'm kidding, I don't post any porns. Yeah, like I wasn't a fake person. So I was really upset that like my account got disabled, but whatever. There was a, a solution apparently to submit an appeal to Facebook to be like, hey, I think this was a mistake or hey, I'm sorry, I don't, I didn't mean to post that, I'll never do it again. And then you have to like submit a copy of your ID. So I did that. It's been weeks. I've tried to send two emails, still no response. I understand Facebook is busy, but like I've gotten nothing so far. So because I was impatient, I was like, let me make another email and open another profile. The first time I did that, got disabled immediately. 
Second time I did that, got disabled immediately. Third time I did that, got disabled. Fourth time I did that, we were all good. Turns out that I couldn't have Facebook on my phone, okay? Because, like, I guess Facebook tracked the IP and whatnot. But because I cleared my browser, I cleared the cookies and the cache, I managed to open the accounts on my laptop. So I was like, okay, if this is how it's going to be, it's cool. You know, I don't mind just waiting to use my laptop when I want to go on Facebook. That's fine. I had that for a day, okay? The following day, it got disabled. And I was like, wow, guys, like, I don't know if... Someone is now reporting me, maybe someone doesn't like me and is reporting my account as like spam or catfish or other rubbish. So then I tried to make another account that immediately got disabled. And this, this was now the following evening after having my account for a day. Then I made another account and it was chilling. It was literally, it was fine. Everything was fine. I didn't use my phone. Because I put the profile picture of my old account, it immediately got disabled. So I was like, you know what, I give up. Maybe I'm just supposed to wait for Facebook to get back to me. Maybe it's a test of my patience. Who knows? So I was like, okay, whatever. Just want to have Facebook. If someone wants to contact me, just sign into the Instagram DMs because I'm always on the gram. So what I learned from having a disabled account was that couldn't use my phone. Don't touch the browser of my phone, the app, Messenger, Facebook. Don't do anything with those because my account will just get disabled again. Don't put the profile picture of my old account, the first original account that got disabled. Otherwise, it will just get disabled again. I have about six emails now, six, seven emails. The account that I had for a day, how it got disabled, I don't know. I don't know if it just took them a day to find me. Maybe they just don't want Chantal Ivana Sison on Facebook. All I did was I was on Facebook and I literally just on the same tab, I didn't open another tab to go onto YouTube. I just, I was on my tab, clicked YouTube, and I don't know if that was the cause, but after I did that, my account got disabled. So, it sucks because I really enjoy having Facebook, but maybe there's a bigger purpose behind it, you know? I always believe in those sort of things. <sighs> That's gonna make my video so long now. As you can see, it's a lot warmer now in South Africa. September is when we hit spring, and then October onwards is like summertime, so yeah, you can see skin showing i might look a bit tan my face might look lighter than my body but i'll get to my skin later but yeah that's it's not makeup okay it's just my face my yeah um my hair's been growing duh hair grows oh my gosh okay so about two weeks ago i had a really bad disgusting eye infection I had like two styes basically at one time. It was the first time I had an eye infection ever. So this lid, I don't know if you can see if it's like still bruised, but basically it was so swollen and it was like affecting my entire eye. I couldn't open my eyes. Although I already can't open them. I'm kidding, it's a bit racist. I looked like Quasimodo and it was so purple and it was so sore and it was horrible and then in that same week, I was supposed to have a shoot, so can you imagine the panic in my heart? But luckily, the shoot was moved and then my eye was healed, so everything was fine. Yay! Get on to my skin now. Let's get to my skin. Okay, so I am going to make a separate video on how I cleared my skin or like my skincare routine. But guys, my skin was really bad before I started this new product. But yeah, I'll talk about that later. Later, in another video. Basically, I'm not wearing any makeup. And I am so proud, dude, because like, I generally don't really like wearing makeup. I'm just not that type of girl. I only like to do my eyebrows, and today I just put a little bit of dark eyeshadow here. Just because I had an audition today, but basically I always just do my eyebrows. So I put a bit of powder and then brow gel. Yeah. And that's like, that's basically my routine in the morning, and if I have like, bad marks like this morning I had a really red mark here I just put a little bit of foundation on there otherwise this is all natural if I look a little bit glowy it's probably sweat and oil um oh guys we're almost at like 950 subscribers right now I am sitting on at this moment I am on 939 subscribers guys we're so close like I just want to hit a thousand by the end of the year. When I hit a thousand subscribers, I'm going to do another TMI tag. I can't do Q&A's because no one likes me enough to ask me questions. If people do ask me questions, like five. 
and I don't want to do a Q&A of like five questions. So I'm just going to do a TMI tag and wait till I'm more big on YouTube for Q&As when people actually care about me. Obsessions. Oh my goodness. Recent obsessions. Why don't we? Why don't we? Why don't we? Why don't we? Pretty much. Forever in your mind. Why don't we? Why don't we? Why don't we? Why don't we? Okay. I'm going to do like a reacting video to Why Don't We's Invitation music video because I can watch that thing over and over again and I just want you guys to see who they are. I'm freaking in love with them. Sad thing though is that I'm older than all of them. You know, I'm a granny and they're like babies so I'm basically like a pedophile. And I love pretty much and I love forever in your mind but Why Don't We is right at the top of my list. So yeah, that's like my current obsession. Daniel is my favorite because he plays guitar so well and he's so cute. Even though he has a gap in his teeth, it just makes him him and he's just so cute and tall and lanky and... So yeah, I have a crush on Daniel. My camera is going to die soon so I'm gonna try hurry this up. Another one of my obsessions is B. Miller. In case you didn't know, I was doing, like, I think I did two of her songs. She's my celebrity crush, female celebrity crush. I love her voice, I love her, I love like how she is, and I love her music so much, and just like the meanings behind her songs, like wow, yeah. I don't know if you noticed throughout the entire video, but I got tattoos. I won't get into what they mean, because I'm gonna do a piercing and tattoos video so you can hear all about it soon. I guess that's about it. That's my life, guys kind of boring so give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it if you like listening to me talk and talk and talk and talk and talk and talk and, talk and, talk and just like hear about what goes on in my life it's not that interesting comment whatever you feel like commenting if you have some questions for me because nobody likes to ask me anything they just like to comment how nice the video is or they just want to insult me it's okay but whatever comment what you want go ahead and subscribe if you haven't already so you can see more videos soon. My bottle is leaking. We're almost at 9.50 and right now that's my goal. Like 1k can come just now but 9.50 I want it so bad so subscribe. So yeah have a great day, great evening wherever you are and I will see you in my next video. Stop leaking. Okay let's go. Goodbye. If I remember something else to catch you guys up on, shame because I'm not going to film it. What you want, what you want.